Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that you're about to solve, that we are about to solve, is the one that you will find on page number. 161 number 2 161 and today is our day number 69 lesson number 69 let's take a look at it it says approximately what percentage of the faculties in humanities are male all right approximately what percent of faculty in humanities are male very simple very straightforward question so we have to find out the total number of faculties in humanity and then we'll look at the males and we'll divide the uh, male from the total that's all so let's figure out the number of females the number of females in humanities which is the one, two, three, four. The fourth one from the from the bottom. If you go forth from the bottom, the other the social sciences, the physical sciences, and the humanities. What percentage of the faculty is a hum, uh, uh, female? The female is the top chart, top chart, the dark one. And if you read carefully, it looks like to me seventeen percent. Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent of what? Seventeen percent of the number of total female in the in the school. And how many total female are there? Which is, uh, which is what you're going to find on the top of the chart, there are 200 of them. So what is 17% of 200? I don't know about you, but I do not go around measure, counting 17% of 200. I do know what is 17% 7, of 100. 17% of 100 is 17. Therefore, 17% of 200 must be twice the amount. 34. The male, the number of male, well, let's see what percentage male in humanities. The male looks like 14%. 14% of 250. But how do we find 14%? 14% 14 of 250. Well, that's a tricky one. I don't like to use calculator no, unless I absolutely have to. So let's break up 250 into three parts into 100 plus 100 plus a 50. What is 14% of 100? Well, 14% of 100 is 14. What is 14% of another 100? That's another 14. And if the 14% of 100 is 14, then 14% of 50, which is half the amount, stands to reason, must be 7. So there is the answer. That's 14% of 250. 14% of 250 is 14 plus 14, which is 28, plus 7. 28 plus 2 is 30, plus 5, 35. So right here, let's put it here, 14 plus 14 plus 7 equals 35. So that's it, that's the total number of faculty, 69 apparently. 69. Now, we figure out the percentage, that's all. Percentage of male equals number of males, which is 35 over the total number which is 69 well that's pretty simple because of the word that because of the fact that they because of the fact that they say approximately well this is approximately this is approximately 35 over 70 and 35 over 70 is exactly 50 percent that is the answer 50 percent is the answer the answer is e because e says 51 percent Obviously, it's not 45%, it's not D, and everything else is less. 45 is too far off. So the approximate it is 50%. And 50% is 51%. The reason is 51% is because, you see, in reality, this is 69. And by making it a bigger number, we're actually reducing the figure. Because the smaller the denominator, the larger the quantity. So 35 divided by 69 is obviously slightly more than 35 divided by 70. So the answer is, whatever the hell the answer is, is a little bit more than 50. And the only answer that I see there that is a little bit more than 50 is 51. The answer is E.
that's it we're done I will see you tomorrow on day number 70 where we will do the very last problem in this set let's see what they tell you about that yes that's, that's, a, that's a pretty annoying question it's, uh, it's not difficult but it's very tedious it's very laborious we'll do it tomorrow okay I'll see you bye